clicker. Let's see. Okay, who can read this? Everyone. Why could you read this? To change. Why could, your, could our brain really decipher the words and find out what's a seven and what's a B? Yeah, because this is how quick our brain works. But this is actually what intelligence is all about, being really reactive and trying to find those patterns. And if we want to be uh, intelligence, we have to be reactive to change. If change is happening and we're sort of dumb there, then it means that we're not smart, right? So I want actually to tell you about the, the nightmare of a presenter, not knowing what the audience wants to hear. So for that, I actually would like you to go to www.menti.com, put the code 70256. Let's see how quick and reactive you are doing this step. So www.menti.com, 70256. Okay? And if you get like a, if you're on it, put a thumbs up. Here, one person is already on. Two, three, four, five, woo, happening. Okay, let's move. Let's, so, let me ask you, how are you feeling today? Please vote. Amazing, tired, ready, steady, go. Go, go, amazing. Wow, it, Delphine and the girls, you've done an amazing work today, and it's really showing here. Whoever is tired, we can do the eight, four, two. And ready, steady, go, okay. Actually, I'm going to switch to the next question. Who are you? One word, one sentence. You know, we've done the, uh, the, the, the personality type. We've been hearing about how we need to overcome our, our weaknesses. Who are you? You're awesome. You're a connector, energy helper. Bring it on, right? Who you are? Are you an entrepreneur? Are you a woman? Are you an activist? Are you, what are you? Wow, look at this. Curious, connector, woman, authentic, yeah? Okay. What else? Strong, compassionate, you're a maker. This is what we need to have like so big for our International Women's Day next time, yeah? Or keep it on all your walls. Next question, 65 uh, answers, amazing. Next one. We heard that it's all about actually revealing what you can be. So who or what is standing in your way to achieving whatever you're set for? It could be a person, it could be a blocker. Just put it there, fear, nothing. Perfect, financial stability, having savings, insecurities, um, self-confidence, money, me, you know? That's a very important blocker. Comfort, rejections, decisions, okay? Put that, again, even bigger in front of your wall whenever you're faced with Why am I not achieving what I set to do? Okay, I'm going to... 85, so we are, we're really progressing, right? Because it means that we're opening up. This is amazing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch back to the presentation. And this is my message for today. Yeah? Dare to question and challenge everything. Dare to disrupt even yourself. This is on Valentine's Day. I came to my office and I saw a message there, a really a postcard that says, love is disruption, Lena is disruption, therefore Lena is love. Aww. It's an anonymous gift sent to me from somebody in the floor that I'm at. And I was so happy, I put it there because I felt like I'm so achieved. When people think that disruption is actually a positive thing. Then, I was even happier when I learned that actually uh, a delivery hero, our CEO, a company of 22,000 employees in 41 countries, he, he's not connected to me, he has a second connection, he says, amazing colleagues. I told him, it's not about the colleagues, it's the culture that you built, top down and bottom up. And this went so viral that I have never had that much publicity all my life. <laughs> so. Okay, so I started my career actually as an actress because I really felt, oh, if I can be in different personalities every quarter, then yeah. c'est la vie, right? I'm so happy. But then I realized that acting is just putting me in different situations rather than me discovering what do I want to be. I turned out into neuroscience. I did my PhD 
on the brain, trying to figure out how do we learn, why do we learn. I would stick electrodes in the brain of mice and I'd say, okay, so what happens if I would inject some current here? Would then afterwards the mice learn better? Yeah? It's amazing because we do everything there. But then I was faced with whatever I find, it'll be only true for the mouse that I'm, uh, uh, that I'm really testing, right? I don't know actually how do we really learn. I had two options. Either I go work with children, which is so damn hard. Or I go work where businesses, where things happen really quickly. And that's why I really followed my curiosity and I wanted to continue experimenting because this is my drive, to find out what works and what doesn't. But obviously the tough part is that how do you start doing something new and where do you start? I had Churchill mm -hmm. big on my wall says that actually success consists of going from failure to failure. You know, they teach us that success is when you're always succeeding. It's not true. If you're always succeeding, it means that you're not doing anything different. But actually, it is when you go from one failure to the next, from the one rejection to the next, and still you're enthusiastic about it. Very hard, but that is what keeps it. So, I put, a, I put actually an Excel and a, a Google Doc. Every rejection that I've got, I put it there. I blank, blank the companies. <laughs> And I told myself, I have to know if this is what I want or this is what I want. But it didn't, I wasn't counting, like I said, if I have five, I'm gonna stop. No, it said, I just need to know that it's another rejection. Am I still enthusiastic about it? <laughs> so yes, it was finding this small change that would really help me overcome the rejection. And um, this is where I decided to take a sabbatical from the university. I was almost a professor at the Charité, but I decided that whatever I find is only true for the mice. I really want to know how people learn. So I dropped everything. Everyone told me, stupid, you're almost a professor. What do you want to do? Become an intern, an unpaid intern. And I said, you know what? I'll try it for six months. If it doesn't work, I'll go back doing something different. So I did do that, and was so happy to have the door open at Career Foundry. Now, this was like number 50 in my list, after 50 rejection, honestly. Yeah? So the point is that you will go in other places, and people will tell you, don't. Yeah? I mean, uh, Jenny said it in the morning. There'll be everyone around you tell you, no, 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 you're so stupid, don't do it. You just have to sort of say, am I enthusiastic to change? That was the thing that was driving me. So. For that, you'd need a role model. Because there's always somebody who sort of gives you this pleasure of like, I am there. And for me, I was looking at my son. This is him imitating me. But actually, since he's born, he's 11 years old now. Since he's born, I always look and observe him. It's like, what would he do now? Would he continue or would he stop? How does he analyze things? You know, you think that we parents, we actually teach our kids, but it's the other way around. So. Look how kids learn how to walk. This is neuroscientifically. They don't sort of say, I'm going to observe people, and then I'm going to start imitating them. No, they stand up, and then the brain tells, hey, you don't have muscles. So, boom, fall. <laughs> then, they, they, then they have muscles, but then the brain says, you don't have enough neurons, boom, fall. So every time, the fall becomes less severe, but, this, but they want to do it. And without them falling, actually the brain would not know to build muscles or to send, uh, to send innervations. So look at a child and see how they do it. Einstein said that a person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. When was the last time you, had, you made mistakes? When was the last time you tried something and said like, fuck it, if it doesn't work, so I go back. So I just want to finish by this. Jalal al-Din al-Rumi said, Yesterday, I was clever, and I wanted to change the world. That was me at the age of 16. Today, I'm wise, and I want to change myself. I'm 43 years old. I hope I'm getting there. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>